Here is a semicircle. It is tangent to two adjacent sides of this rectangle. This piece is 3. This piece measures 6. The question is, how long is the diameter of the semicircle? For solving for its diameter, we have to firstly find its center. Of course, this red line segment is its diameter, so we only have to find its midpoint, and that's the center of this circle. We have two tangent points. So what shall we do? Midpoint, tangent point. Always, 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 we should always connect the midpoint to the tangent point. Why? Because then, here is the right angle. If we join the midpoint to the tangent point, this angle will be a right angle. That's a theorem. I've only connected the midpoint with one of the tangent points. Here, we have the other tangent point, so join these two points. Of course, here is also a right angle. Now, I have a question. What is this figure? Look, here is of course a right angle. Why? Because this is a rectangle. Right angle, right angle, right angle. So here is also a right angle. So this figure is a rectangle. Is it only a rectangle? Of course not. You can see, we can easily find out that these two green line segments are equal. They have the same length. Why? Because they are the radii. The radii of a circle are always equal. They have always the same length. They are just the radii. So these two green line segments are equal. So what does it mean? A rectangle plus two adjacent sides are equal. So we can get easily that this figure is a square. It is a square. Then, what would you like to do? Maybe you're gonna say, we can lengthen this green line segment to this side of the rectangle. Of course, here is a right angle. This piece is the radius of the circle. It is R. I'm going to write it as R. Here, we have a right triangle. Usually, if we get a right triangle, what shall we do? Of course, we have to associate it with the Pythagorean theorem. Hypotenuse is R. Other sides, we don't know. So we have to evaluate these two sides. This green line segment is also R. Isn't it? Here is a right angle, here is a right angle, and here is a right angle as well. So this figure is a rectangle. These two sides are opposite to each other. Here is R, here is R as well. They are equal. They have the same length. So here is R minus 6. The third side is complicated. We've already solved two of the three sides. For evaluating the third side, we need another construction. What I like to do is to construct the perpendicular of this green line segment from this point. This is a right triangle, but it's the same way. We can prove it. Here is 3, here is 3 as well. So this piece is 3. We know that this green line segment measures R. This piece is 3, so this piece is R minus 3. Please inspect these two right triangles. Opposite angles are equal. So these angles are equal. Guess what? These two angles are also equal. 
they're both right angles. And these two line segments are equal. Their hypotenuses are equal. They are equal to R. So according to AAS, angle angle side, these two triangles are certainly congruent to each other. What does it mean? It means that these two triangles are equal. They have the same size and they have the same area. All of their characters are same, are equal. If these two triangles are congruent to each other, then all of their size will be equal to each other. So this side of this triangle is equal to this side of this triangle. Here is R, of course, and this piece is 3. So this piece is R minus 3, which is equal to R minus 3, actually. Here is R minus 3. So here is also R minus 3. R minus 3. So now what we should do is to set up an equation. Construct an equation about R. In this triangle, it is a right triangle. All three sides are known. By the Pythagorean theorem, we can get easily that R minus 3 all squared plus R minus 6 all squared is R squared. Binomial expression, r minus 3 all squared is r squared minus 6r plus 9. r minus 6 all squared is r squared minus 12r plus 36. And the right hand side is r squared. Very good. Then, if we subtract the left hand side r squared from both sides, then we can get r squared plus r squared minus r squared is r squared minus 6r minus 12r is minus 18r plus 9 plus 36 is plus 45. And the right hand side is, of course, r squared minus r squared which is zero. Quadratic equation about r. By factorization, we can factorize the left hand side. We should find two numbers whose product is positive 45 and addition is negative 18. Of course, 45, it can be written as negative three then times negative 15. And the addition of these two numbers is negative 18. So if succeeded, then it can be factorized easily. It is r minus 3, then times r plus, uh, sorry, also minus 15. Oh my god. Everything was perfect until here appears a mistake. I'm so stupid. <sighs> R minus 15. So the right hand side is 0. Of course, how many cases can we get? 2. Of course, 2. R1 is 3. R2 is 15. The diameter is 6. Oh, two answers. Is that possible? Of course not. So which one is correct and which one is incorrect? If r is equal to 3, the radius is 3. However, this piece measures 6, and we all know that 6 is greater than 3. So that's impossible. Because 3 minus 6 
is negative 3, and a distance can never be negative. The only choice is r is 15, and we can get the diameter is 30. Do you get it? Only 4% people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 4%? Give a thumbs up for this wonderful question. Do you get it?